Hello everyone, Ms. Dollard here. I'm going to take you on a guided tour of the new learning system that we'll be using for the art history class. This, this uh, learning management system is called Canvas and fortunately I have been working in Canvas for several years at another school. So for me, this is old hat. And while for you it might be a little new, I can say with all confidence it is a great system to work in. In many ways a lot more streamlined and sensible and it looks a lot better, uh, in my opinion, than Portal. So without any further ado, let's enter the course. Now when you get to your home page, the login page, it will look something like this. Then you go to My Courses and here's Art History. Oh look, there's some kind of a portal to another universe here uh, where it says click here to enter the class in Canvas. Click here. Oh and here we are. This is our class. We have landed on the course home page. This is where I would like for you to uh, begin every time you go to the course. You will automatically be directed here. In addition to that, you'll need to scroll down. Each week, this image and this message will change. And you are responsible for what's written here. This is really how I address you as students each week. The classes run Monday to Monday, and I put a new post up every Monday, usually with pictures that relate to the topic of the week. So scrolling on down, I'd like you to read this. And then here is a section for this first week, how to navigate this class. This contains a lot of important information that just gives you a rundown on what I expect you to do and how to have the greatest success in the course. Below that you'll see links to course materials and these are both links. You can click right here to enter the module for this week and each week there'll be a new one. So next week module 2 will be below it. Now another way to access the modules you can go here but you can also go right back up here and go into the module. The modules are really what holds all of the course materials. That's something that I really do like about uh, the Canvas program is it's really super easy to navigate. So at the top of your screen you'll see module one welcome to class. Now I'm about to move this below but this will tell you how to get into the online textbook. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, if your head is spinning, let me just simplify this for you. The course is offered in Canvas. That's where we are now. And every time you go to the course, you're going to click on that link where it says click here, and that is how you will actually be in the course. Now, within the course, we have several components, the discussion, the assignments. Everything is accessed from the modules. So let's just open Module 1, Intro and Assignments. Okay, there we go. Intro and Assignments, January 14th through 21st. So here we have yet another little welcome message. And here is a list of assignments for the week. One of the nice features about Canvas is that at the bottom of each page in the module, you can click Next. This is going to take you to the video links for the week. Okay, So there's a little uh, very important message from me. Uh, you do need to read that. I'll introduce myself. After you've watched these, you can just click on Next. Now let's say you're in the middle of this and you feel like, where am I? I am so lost. Easy. Go back to Modules. Here we are. Week one, welcome to class. So here we have, we were just in this section. We went to this section, and it was just about to take us into the textbook. So each week, you have pretty much the same assignments. And then we have a few additional assignments, which I will get to a little bit later. You can count on some reading. You can count on a quiz from the textbook and um, a discussion. So that's basically what you have to do. 
I recommend that when you enter the class, you go through all of these sections. I tend to do it from the modules page, but whatever really is most comfortable for you. I, for example, you can click here just to review. Now it's going to open, go through all that material, and you can click on the next or the previous at the bottom. If you want to get back to the home base for learning, go back to the modules. So let's take a moment and take a look at the discussion. One of the things that I've heard about uh, online courses is that students sometimes feel like they're just out there on their own and that the teacher is sort of disappeared. Well, in this case, I'm right here and I get to know you and we all have a presence in the class through the discussion. So what I'd like you to do each week is to reply to my original post by clicking here and typing something like hello introduce yourself right here and then I'll cancel this but that's where you post a reply and then these are a couple that I've done already hello it's me so you can reply to this student by clicking reply what you'll do in the discussion each week is you will reply to my question and to two of your classmates so that's worth 10 points every week, but more important, it allows us to be an actual class of human beings rather than people just staring at a computer screen. I'm going to show you one other thing here, um, and I hope this is all working. Over on the side here, you'll see Inbox, and that's where you can send an email. Um, if you do not get a reply, go ahead and go back into NorthArk's uh, portal to send that email because I do reply to emails within 24 hours so if you send a message within the class and you don't hear back from me that just means that's not quite working yet as I said this is a new system and it's a wonderful system so let's go back here for a moment and we're going to talk about MindTap in order for me to access MindTap, I needed to leave the student view and go back to instructor view. So this is what I see. It's just about what you see, only a little bit more, and I can make changes. So let's come into this module one where it says introduction, what is art history? You'll click on that and then you'll get this kind of a window that will take you to MindTap, which is the online content. So you'll click on that and it should load the class. Now my computer just went through some gyrations where it showed a home page and it went back and forth and it landed here and it took a few seconds so I have skipped all that so that it's not confusing. So here we have our chapters listed and here's all the images at the bottom and this is really your online textbook. I'll be honest I like to have a paper text and those are available at the bookstore for a very low cost. So this first week we're going to read our introduction. So you simply go from one page to the next and this is an important button for you to know. One of the things that I'll be working with this semester is uh, refining the reading so that you're not overwhelmed by too much reading. And so what I will do is I'll cite certain um, parts of the chapter and I'll tell you to read them and I'm not sure that I can highlight them but I'll list them and that will be what you'll be responsible for. One cool thing to know about is that if you look over here on the side and I'm not sure you'll see all of these icons because I am in the instructor view but let's come over here and look at the little guy who's talking. Well that's how you can get the audio view, the audio recording of the book. Okay, I think that pretty much covers us in MindTap, and I wonder if I can get back to the class. Ah, there we are, back in Canvas, back where we began. So this is where you'll begin, uh, always to enter the course. You might want to put that in your bookmark, and I think this completes our tour around the class. If you feel a little confused at first, that's okay. It will all become very familiar as we get into the semester. Once again, thanks for listening, and I am so happy to be sharing this semester with all of you. This course is something that I do really love, and I feel like artists of any level or anyone interested in history will benefit by taking the class. 
So if you have any questions, send me an email and thank you for listening. Bye.